Leonid Ivashov, a retired and political analyst, urged the two sides, US and North Korea, to reach a diplomatic solution to the tensions which have been ramped up in recent days by both the president and the dictator. Mr. Ivashov, in an interview with Russia Today, said Pyongyang's threats of bombing the US territory of Guam was a bluff and that the US could easily blast any North Korean missiles out of the sky even if it did attack. And he called for both Russia and China to intervene now and impose further sanctions on North Korea in a bid to take the conflict out of the military perspective. Discussing the prospect of war between North Korea and the US, Mr. Ivashov said, It's a total mismatch. The US is a superpower while North Korea is a small regional player. North Korea can't compete with America on any level. The U.S. superior technology meant it could locate all of Kim's weapons factories and missile sites, Mr. Ivashov said, and eliminate everything that North Korea created in terms of medium-range and long-range missiles and nuclear production. Neither would North Korea's anti-missile defenses be any match for the American B-1 bombers, he added. The former military leader, who today is head of the Academy of Geopolitical Problems, admitted North Korea might be able to inflict some damage on the U.S., but this would pale in comparison to the havoc wreaked by America's military might. On North Korean threats towards Guam, Mr. Ivashov said, to some extent, it's a bluff on the part of North Korea, an attempt to save face and avert the American blow through international rhetoric. In this video, Defense Updates breaks down Leonid Ivashov's statements and analyzes why North Korea genuinely has no chance against the U.S. Let's get started. Number 5 B-2 Spirit is America's most potent bomber because of its stealth characteristics. It has a maximum speed of Mach 0.95 and a range of 6,900 miles or 11,000 kilometers. B-2 has an excellent payload and is capable of carrying nukes, which makes it extremely destructive. It has two internal bays for ordnance and payload with an official limit of 40,000 pounds, that's 18,000 kilograms, and a maximum estimated limit of 50,000 pounds, or 23,000 kilograms. North Korea has a mix of old Soviet-era surface-to-air missiles, SAMs, which includes the S-75, S-125, S-200, and the Kvadrat. All these systems are outdated and represent technology that's two to three generations older. Also, these may not be in good working condition. In addition to them, since the early 2010s, North Korea has deployed an indigenous SAM system which is called KN-06 by South Korea and the US. The KN-06 is a long-range SAM that bears some resemblance to the Russian S-300 and Chinese F-2-2000, is the most capable of North Korean air defense system. but. Even this system is not capable of detecting the stealthy B-1 Spirit. Number 4 North Korea doesn't have different nuke delivery options. North Korea is dependent on land-based missiles for nuke delivery as it has no aircraft capable of carrying nuclear bombs and has no ballistic missile submarines. It's agreed by most experts that the recently tested Hwasong-14 could reach many U.S. cities, marking a significant milestone. But North Korea's missile program has still a long way to go. Every time it launches a missile, a lots of arrangement on the ground has to be made and it's not streamlined. This time span when a missile is being prepared for a launch is the most vulnerable phase for a missile. North Korea is far off from having these missiles properly deployed in underground silos. North Korea's threats have made sure that the country is under constant surveillance by radars and satellites of US, South Korea, and Japan. All impending launch of missiles are detected and can be destroyed in the ground itself. The US also has solid intelligence on other military sites of North Korea like the airfields through satellite imagery and will be able to target them with a multitude of options at a moment's notice. Number three. A missile launched by North Korea will have to deal with multiple missile defense systems. One, the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System is a United States DOD, that's Department of Defense, Missile Defense Agency program developed to provide 
missile defense against short to intermediate range ballistic missiles. Aegis BMD is designed to intercept ballistic missiles post boost phase and prior to re-entry. The Arleigh Burke class of guided missile destroyers is the United States Navy's first class of destroyer built around the Aegis combat system. Undisclosed numbers of Arleigh Burke class destroyers are already present in Korean waters. 2. The Patriot Advanced Capability 3 Pac-3, designed by US, is a significant upgrade to the original system and dedicated almost entirely to the anti-ballistic missile mission. Patriot missile battery can have up to 16 launchers and there are also spare missiles to resupply the launchers as missiles are fired. It has a range of 20 to 30 kilometers. Japan has these systems in place and has recently demonstrated its capabilities. 3. THAAD is designed to shoot down short, medium and intermediate range ballistic missiles in their terminal phase. The system has an operational range of around 200 kilometers with a speed of Mach 8.24. It is ideally suited to take out North Korean missiles. THAAD is deployed in Guam and South Korea also has THAAD deployed. 4. US mainland is also protected by Ground Base Mid-Course Defense or GMD. GMD is the United States anti-ballistic missile system for intercepting incoming warheads in space during the mid-course phase of ballistic trajectory flight. The US military in May conducted a successful first ever missile defense test involving a simulated attack by an intercontinental ballistic missile. Number 2 North Korea's Navy has about 810 vessels, which in theory could seem a threat but in practice is no more than a nuisance. North Korean Navy is considered a brown water Navy and operates mainly within the 50 kilometer exclusion zone. It has no aircraft carrier or destroyer and only has three frigates which are no match to the advanced US surface combatants. Large percentage of the fleet is made up of small patrol vessels. All of these vessels including the submarines are outdated having technologies of the 1950s. On paper, the North Korean Air Force possesses more than 500 combat capable aircrafts but almost all of them are outdated and even include Chinese derivatives of very old fighters like the MiG-17 and MiG-19. The MiG-29 is the Korean People's Army's Air Force KPAF, most modern fighter but it operates approximately only 40 of these. North Korea has more than 1.2 million active soldiers and a further 7.7 .7 million in reserve, making its ground force one of the largest in the world. But the troops are mostly ill-equipped with outdated weapons of the Soviet era. The country's conventional forces facing a long slide after the end of the Cold War have faced equipment obsolescence and shorted supplies. For example, North Korea has very few tanks based on the 1970s Soviet T-72 and most are still derivatives of the 1960s era T-62. The rest of Pyongyang's armored core is in a similar predicament making them distinctly inferior to the US and South Korean forces. Number 1 Sustaining a war effort requires massive reserves not only in men but also in material. Not only will the relatively poor inventory of ammunition dwindle down in a few weeks but also will the food supply. With these two basic items in short supply, the North Korean forces will not be able to continue fighting for long periods. It is also foreseen by many experts that as the war turns against North Korea, many will start deserting the repressive regime, hastening the process of capitulation. North Korea is cut off from the world and has no allies who will help them. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.